I know that humidity a lot of times is a matter of perspective, but man, I don't know how y'all do it in the south and on the, the east coast. I mean, today here it's probably 84 degrees and we're looking at like, probably right now I think I looked and it's like 75, 80% humidity and I am absolutely dying here. I don't know how y'all do it. That's amazing. Y'all got some serious endurance. But I will say, you probably say the same things about us out here. How in the heck do you live in 100 to 110 degree or 120 degree temps? Well, when it's 20 or even sometimes 15% humidity, it can be 110 outside and you don't sweat. Um, the sweating is what kills me. It's, it, when, it, when I start sweating like this is when it rolls into my eyes and everything. And uh, yeah, it's... It's tough. <laughs> I got a lot of respect for y'all out there in the East, man. You, you're dealing with some hot stuff. <laughs> okay, so here's something I've been curious about. Uh, how many of you out there watching smoke cigars? I'm just curious. If you smoke cigars, uh, let me know in the comments. Just let me know that you... Yes, you smoke them and let me know what your favorite one is. My favorite one is always going to be a, I mean, it's the gold standard, a Cuban Cohiba. I was lucky enough to have five of those that I got from my sister and I was able to restore them and uh, they were good. I smoked the last one in uh, Catalina in honor of my sister on the day we put her ashes to rest. All right, we're out here taking a mission this morning. I'm taking Dan to, uh, into our little town here to get some supplies and this is why okay this drive around yeah ain't gonna happen ain't gonna happen for about another five days at least so and this won't be dried up this was still a mud pit yesterday so this will right. a week from now this will still be here this will be we'll be lucky if this dries out by the vow renewal but that right there is going to be at least five days so we're looking at five days before anybody else can get in here yeah, this is the bad one. Coming up on the deep hole here. There's gravelly, but... There is rock underneath this, but yeah. it's when you start getting into this deep hole we're in now. Well, you're still okay here. The rock okay. boards are still like four or five inches. There's the deep part. Yeah, this isn't too bad. The ruts are deep though, but it still feels like I'm on rock. See what this one's doing. Oh, there's a couple of deep holes. Yeah, but yeah, we dropped about four inches into that one right there. It still feels like I'm on rock. Yeah, and you still feel you're still definitely the uh, running boards are like four to five inches. Uh, the waters. Yeah, so I don't think we saw anything though. deeper than eight inches.
been trying for days to catch a monarch butterfly on camera. They've come back, but they always keep flying away. But there's one. Let's see if he'll land. Come on, baby, land. Let us get a look at you. There it is. The monarch butterflies are back. Wow, I can't believe I've been struggling. Oh no, he's missing half his wing. Or her. I don't know. Poor little guy. No wonder it's having no what that's why it's not flying away from me because it only has half a wing. Uh, bummer for that guy. Anyway, they're back. Look at that. That's ripe prickly pear cap cactus apples. Yeah, these are ripe. They're still a little bit firm, but I'd say they're probably ripe and sweet right now. That's awesome. I didn't even notice that before. Now, I know I showed this the other day before it had rained, but since it rained, all the flowers have come out. And just look at this. I mean, this is just some natural, random beauty out here. Yeah, these things are incredible. The uh, Those little middles right there, when the sun's on it, they're very bright yellow, the things that have the pollen. Maybe I've got the camera too close, but yeah. And these things are, uh, they're a perennial. So this will come back every year as long as there's water. But what's amazing is when there isn't any water, it'll just sit there dormant. All the plants out here will just sit dormant. It just, it's amazing. And look at these two things right there. Oh no, Scout chased them away. We've had these giant moths that have come onto the property in the last two weeks. They're huge. They're like this big, two inches long, two and a half inches long. They've got uh, like a tan and black stripes on their wings and they fly during the day, not at night. It's the weirdest thing. Let's see if I can get one on camera. Man, I, I, I spent days chasing monarch butterflies until I finally got one on camera. The monarch butterflies have come back. Yeah, of course, as soon as I turn, hit the record button, here comes the wind. Yeah, one of these days I'll have to get a mic, but uh, yeah, I'm past my YouTube investment total for the year. Maybe next year I'll get a mic. I'm curious though how good the mics are, how much wind you can actually cut out, because I've seen some people's videos when you're still, when you're in the, you know, really strong wind or, you know, it seems like you can still hear it. <laughs> running laps come on good girl come on come on <laughs> are you gonna run into me <laughs> are you trying to get me to run trying to get me to run come on come on trying to get me to run we've walked so many times on the racetrack this is one place she's very comfortable and for the most part she'll run on the actual track she'll deviate a little bit but she follows it around she likes it a lot She's memorized where all of the bad things she's not supposed to have are. You know, Dan had a great idea. This would be a great place to pave this and put in an all electric solar charged go-kart track. Come on, we're not going over there. Yeah, she wants to go over to Aja's, look at her. Come on, no, she's trying to convince me to go. Now, a month ago, she would have just ran over there and I wouldn't maybe not been able to get her to come back, but. Yeah, she's getting better. She's staying with me. She's she's testing the limits, though. She's seen how far she can go before I tell her to come back. Come on, let's keep going. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Honestly, this is the skinniest she's ever going to look. She's eight months old now. She's still, ha she's still getting a little bit taller and a little bit longer. We've noticed her growing. But the filling out hasn't even begun. Her head hasn't even begun to get as big as it's going to get. And... Yeah, you want to eat the cones, don't you? I can see it. Come on. Oh, there's a monarch butterfly and she's chasing it. Look at that. A dog chasing a butterfly. <laughs> dog and butterfly. Get it, Scout. Get it. Get it, Scout. <laughs> Get it, Scout. Get it. Get it, Scout. <laughs> go, Scout. Go. 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 Where's the butterfly? Where's the butterfly, girl? Yeah, burn all this energy off. That means you're gonna sleep and I get to chill. I'm gonna go make dinner, huh? Go get the butterfly, there you go, get it. You missed it. So I heard the coyotes this morning about 5.30. We f I figured out that we have two packs of coyotes out here now, but this morning it was just the one working us over here. And uh, 
Dan said he could hear him right up there very close to his bus. That sounded to me like that was where the larger group was. And then over here in, on the other side up towards the front of the track, I could hear a bunch more. And I had just let Scout out a little about 20 minutes earlier. So they were trying to call, they were trying to call Scout out again. And uh, yeah, look at all this stuff. Whatever this stuff is, I call it like, kind of like ice plant or something, but it's, it's like a true ground cover and it's, hey, stop, I think it's edible. I think I saw on some uh, ancient herbs medicine thing that this is some kind of super high dense food, but I wouldn't eat it until I found out for sure. But look at how much of it's covering the ground. I mean, there's so much of it, it the ground has stayed completely wet. It's, it's wet and muddy, even in the sun, it never dried out today. That's, because there's so much of it. This is awesome. <laughs> I mean, the ground is thick. <laughs>